This is a WNBD NBC 33 News Brief. And good morning, everybody. I'm Chris Tatum with your NBC Region 33 News Brief on this Monday morning. We begin this morning with a story that has dozens of Greenville Public School District employees on edge. Their personal information is right now in the hands of computer hackers. School leaders say someone hacked into the district's computer network and accessed a file that contained school employees' addresses, phone numbers, salaries, and yes, even their social security numbers. We're talking about more than 830 employees Right now, local, state, and federal agencies are investing this, investigating the security breach. They still, though, don't know who those hackers are. School leaders are working with local credit counseling firms to help school employees monitor their credit reports and bank accounts. They're also looking for ways to strengthen the district's online security. Well, in Indianola this morning, some guns may now be in the wrong hand, and that has police putting in long hours to track them down. Police say thieves broke into at least three cars along Cardinal Circle last week and that they stole guns owners had left inside those cars. Of course, police want to know where those guns are. They want to find them, get them off the street, but they also right now want to encourage gun owners to be more cautious about how they store, how they secure their weapons. The gun itself, it doesn't do you any good if you leave it in your car at night. So bring them in, secure them away from your children, of course, anyone with information about those car burglaries and stolen guns should call Indianola police. Well, Cleveland Mayor Billy Howell has a big cause to celebrate. He uh, just earned a, a huge honor from the Keep Mississippi Beautiful organization. It just named him its Mayor of the Year. Among the reasons it chose Howell, well, his work to establish Cleveland's recycling program and his efforts to improve city walking trails. It really surprised me, but it meant the world to me because when I first ran for uh, Alderman some 14 years ago, my platform was a cleaner Cleveland, and uh, that is something that's been always very close to me. Is I think your town is only as good as it is clean, and to have some big organization like the uh, Keep Mississippi Beautiful honor me like this means means the world to. And Howell says this honor just inspires him to make even bigger, even better improvements to the city of Cleveland. That is your morning news brief. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is a WNBD NBC 33 news brief.